What's happening nation pure salvation here and today I want to show you guys my fully automatic daily pulse generator And what does that mean? Well, that means this machine that you see in front of you will output a single pulse every single minecraft day So and it's fully automatic so that means you don't have to press a lever or activate a switch or anything like that It just does it by itself. All right So now I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the machine so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on and in order for this whole thing to work, we need it to be just before daytime. So there you go. I'm going to get in a position so you can kind of see what's going on. And... Hooray! That is the machine in action. So let me explain what's going on here. This machine will output a single quick pulse every Minecraft day. And it only happens in the morning, which is what we want. Which is what you just saw as well. And it fits in a nice little 4x3 area, so it's simple and easy to build. And it's using an AND gate, an inverter, and a daylight sensor. And in order for an AND gate to actually output power, the two top torches have to be deactivated. And since we have an inverter and a daylight sensor, this will always keep at least one of these on and one of these off. Except for a very brief moment in the morning, where both torches are off and it sends a quick signal to the output. And to further explain what's going on here, I'm going to go ahead and set the time tonight. And you probably notice that the left and the right inputs of the AND gate flipped. So this is on and this is off. And nothing happens. However, when I change it to daytime, time set 1000, we have an output and the reason for that is we have a repeater adding a slight delay to this input right here and so this repeater uh, delaying this input prevents it from activating when it changes from day to night but when it changes from night to day in the morning it gives it just enough delay so there is at least some point in the morning where both of these torches are off and allowing the output to send a signal. And to really prove my point, I'm going to change it from night to daytime again, but this time I'm gonna add more delay so you can easily see that there is a time in which both of these inputs are off. So I'm gonna change the time. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get in a better position. So you can see all three torches in the AND gate. I'm gonna change the time to day. There you go, you saw that both of these torches were off and this torch turned on and activated the machine. You might be thinking there's an easier way just by using a daylight sensor and nothing else and you're kind of right but you're also wrong at the same time. If I were to place a dispenser and a daylight sensor, yes, I would receive a block and it would only spit out another block the next time it was daytime just like this machine. However, the response is different this redstone line continually stays on and to better show you what's going on I'm using a piston this is not what we want we don't want it to continually stay extended we just want it to quickly give an output extend the piston and then retract it very simply and this is why we use this method and I will show you by placing a piston on the side what will happen so I'm gonna go ahead and set it again to nighttime and set it back to day. That's exactly what we wanted with the piston. It came out and then came back in. So that's the difference between those two methods. So that's really basically it. And I know this machine may seem a little bit useless, but I assure you there is some really, really good practical application for it. And I will be releasing videos in the near future showing you guys what you can do with this. So. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like or a dislike to let me know what you thought of the video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Okay, people. Take care.